Hi, my name is Ernie Valley. We are here in El Corpus, Honduras. And I wanted to show you that we are the first cleaning company in the country. And I would like to welcome you into our plant. Come on in. We are at the front gate of 27 acres that we have purchased here. We also started building our plant. And I would like to show you step by step of what we constructed and how the process is gonna work here in Honduras. One more time, we are the only company in Honduras to do clean mining. And also, we are the only company in Honduras to recover mercury and clean the environment in all of Central America. Please join us. What you see behind me is our security station. Everyone that enters our gates are gonna be checked and actually verified that they can't enter our plant. We have a unique company here in Honduras. Like I said many times, we are the first to have a mercury recovery plant and also a cleanup plant. So we wanna make everything very uh, structural for them. We want everyone to know that we have roots here and we plan to stay here. And by showing beautiful structures and by showing that we take pride in what we're doing, it will show people that we mean to stay. As soon as you enter the plant, we have a why. One is to go to our warehouse where we're gonna have all of our machinery. And to the right is to our soon to be office building. It's gonna be a two-story office and we will be running our nonprofit Step Up for Honduras out of our offices. Also, we will have our warehouse to the left, which will be our recycling plant and also an area for our nonprofit. We take great pride in reforesting our area. We've planted over 500 citric trees on 27 acres and we hope to plant more. Behind me is our main warehouse. It's a 5,000 square foot structure and it's basically a bomb shelter. The way we built it, it, it's very well designed and built. But I would like to give you a little information about Honduras. I know I keep saying it's a mercury recovery plant, but I wanted to let you know why it is. Here in Honduras, there's millions of people that work in the mining industry. And a lot of them are, are artisanal miners. I'm, I'm speaking about kids that are five years old, women that are pregnant, uh, old men that could barely walk. And all of them are doing the same method that has been used 300 years ago when the Spaniards arrived in this country. Behind me, to the left, you see a mountain. Behind that mountain, it's called El Corpos. Right now, there's over 2,000 artisanal miners, all using mercury daily in a machine that they consider it to be a, a well-designed gold capturing machine, which is called Arastra. These are basically death traps. What they do is they grab a rock, they put it in this round circle that is actually being propelled by a diesel motor pulling three big boulders. As the boulders are spinning, they introduce water and they introduce mercury. After 24 hours, they extract all of the settlement that has actually con conducted together, which has mercury in it. Women, children are working with mercury daily. And this is why Raptor Mining was created. I would like to show you the inside of what we have going on. Mercury is one of the most toxic elements there are. The reason why the artisanal miners use it is because it recovers 35% of the gold and silver that is in the earth. And that is their only method. But here at Raptor Mining, we use no mercury, we recover mercury, and everything is green mining. So come on in, check it out. In the back of our warehouse, we have a receiving area. This is where all of the sands will be delivered from the rivers, creeks, streams, and from the rastras that have been shut down or that are still working. They will actually bring them in through our entrance, dump them in the center. From there, we will classify all the material and put them in their own areas. Right now, this is actually serving as a little soccer field for lunchtime. But like I said, we want to keep it fun here and we want to make everyone want to be here. I think work, if, if you want to have pride in your job, you have to love your job and we want to bring love to this country. We are inside the warehouse and this is a painting that we had painted of a rastra. Uh, we wanted to take a little part of everything that goes on in this city and paint it on the walls. And I wanted to explain to you what a rastra is. It's basically a few rocks that are being pulled by a diesel motor. As the rocks are turning in a circular motion, mercury is added, rocks are added, and water is added. After 24 hours, 
all of the sands are taken out, the mercury is separated, and all the leftover is thrown into the environment. That's where we come in. There's over 45% gold, silver still remaining, and a lot of mercury. And we plan to take it all out and hopefully beautify everything in this city and make it a little better place to live. Hard rock mining is the most common here in El Corpos. There are over 2,000 artisanal miners doing this daily to get out brosa, which is rock, so they can put it into the rastras. Most miners would take out one to two sacks a day, but if you times it by 2,000, it comes out to be quite a bit of material taken out every day. I want to give you my background and why I came to Honduras. I was part of the Corps of Army Engineers for over four years, also a general contractor by trade. I have a good, successful business in the Silicon Valley, and I work a lot. And uh, I wanted to do something different. I traveled all over Central America, and I found a place where it's friendly for investing. It's safe, even though what you hear on the news, it's not what it seems. I came here because I see a lot of potential. I see a lot of money to be made. And I know a way to make money and to share a good opportunity with the people. There's no reason why we can't make money and also improve the, the lifestyle of the local population. And that's what I want to do here. And I would love for you to join me because we can make a difference in a country that needs our help.